Hello friends, now we are going to learn numbers in Western European languages. The basic numbers are basic digits from 1 to 10. That's all we can cover in this lesson or in this course about numbers. We can see for further numbers in other courses which I may upload later on. So let's start with the numbers 1 to 10. So we have grouped, so I have grouped it in three or four, like one, two, three. One, two, three in German is ein, zwei, and drei. If you have followed my previous lesson on German, I have explained that e i when it comes together, e first, and then i sounds like i. So in German, ein, zwei, and drei. Ein is one, zwei is two, and drei is three. In French, it's un. The it's not Deux or Dukes, it's the the EU sounds like uh and that X is not pronounced. So the and the O I in trois is like wa so trois and the trois and from Italian onward it becomes a bit straightforward uno due and tre in Spanish it's uno dos and tres in Portuguese um dois and tres un again the m is a bit nasal in catalan un dos tres in dutch n twee and three it's a bit like german in dutch it's n twee and three and now for four five six in german it's fear fume and sex fear fume and sex in french it's quatre quatre Sank, it sounds like S A N K in English, but it's written as C I N Q. Sank and C. See, note here, it's not six like in English, the X is not pronounced, and I becomes a bit stressed. C. Quatre, sank, and C. In Italian, it becomes quattro, sanke, and sei. It's sei. It's not C here, it's sei. In Spanish, it's a quattro with C, starting with C, Senko and Seis with an S in it. In Portuguese, just the spelling changes a bit, Catro with a Q, Senko and Seis. In Catalan, it's Catre, Sent and Seis. Catre, Sent and Seis. In Dutch, it's a bit different spelling altogether. Fear, Five, and says so if you can note here dutch is more towards english and it also resembles a bit with german see like you can see here fear it is written almost similarly five and few a bit different and says five is more towards the english five five and says so going forward now i have club four numbers together seven eight nine and ten in german it is uh, sieben then art, then neun in German EU, oi, so neun and zen, zen. In French it's set, this P is silent, set, wheat, H is silent, wheat, nerf and D. It's D again, like C, X is not pronounced, so D. But if it comes with something else, it will be pronounced like these, but here by standalone it's D. Italian sette, otto, nove, and dieci. As I mentioned earlier, C I C sounded is there, so dieci. In Spanish, it becomes siete, ocho. See, it's ocho, not otto here. Nueve and diez. All these languages uh, resembles uh, quite a bit because they all are Romance languages except German and Dutch, which are into the Germanic languages so you can see the similarities between French, Italian, Spanish, Catalan, Portuguese which are Romance languages and Catalan said, said wheat with a V it's more towards the French as you can see here wheat, now and you it said wheat, now and you in Portuguese it said te, otto, nove and des Siete, otto, or oito, nove, and des. In Dutch it becomes seven. It's more towards the English seven. 
and a bit away from the German Sieben, Art, it's more like the German Art, Negen and Teen. Seven, Art, Negen and Teen. Teen is, it looks a bit like ten in English but with the E, Teen. So that's for this lesson, my dear friends. Thank you, merci, thank you well, danke, grazie, gracias and obrigado. So, do rate, review, comment. Comment, your comments will be really helpful for me. So, do rate, review and comment on this course. Thank you and do follow me on Unacademy and do check out my next lesson. Thank you.